Now, beforehand, we've been looking at sequences. Um, now we're going to look at series. Now, they are very closely linked, and we can use uh, similar techniques to deal with sequences and series. Sequences are just a sequence of numbers. So an arithmetic sequence, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, etc. An arithmetic series means adding these terms together. So series means adding. So an arithmetic series would be 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 and so on. Okay, And we need to be able to work out ways in order to add all of these up very quickly. So we already have certain letters that we understand where we're going to be using A to be the first term and D to be the common difference. So let's look at a series more generally. So it will start off with A, and then the next one will be A plus D, and then the next one will be A plus 2D, and then A plus 3D, etc. All the way up to, um, well, let's call the last term L, and... The previous term would be L minus D. Okay, so that's what I could write down. Now, in order to add all these up and to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write exactly the same sequence, same, same series, underneath it, but in reverse order. So if I do that, then I've got L plus L minus D and then I'm going to have L minus 2D plus da 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 plus uh, here we would have had A plus D and here we would just have A so I've written exactly the same sequence underneath now if you added those two together and combined them well I'd have A plus L there and then I have what well, A plus D plus L minus D, the D's are cancel, so I've just got A plus L. And then here I'm going to have the 2D take away 2D, so they cancel, and just leaving me with A plus L. And then here I've got the D's cancelling, and I'm just going to have A plus L. And finally, just A plus L. So in actual fact, every single term is A plus L. So... That means, well, how many have I got? I've got n lots of them. So, n lots of a plus l is a very simplified way of adding all these together. However, because I've actually added the sequence to itself, I've doubled it. Because I've got one there and one there. So I've combined them and made two. So actually, I only want half of all these, and that is a way of adding up and the whole series. Okay, This is a formula for an arithmetic series, the sum up to the first n terms. So that's all right if we know the value of L, but in some cases we don't. So, we have a formula for the nth term, and that was a plus n minus 1d. So, we could call L the nth term, the last term in the sequence, and replace the L with a plus n minus 1d. So, let's do that. There we are. I've replaced the L with A plus N minus 1D. And what I find is I've got A plus A there, so I can simplify that and make it nicer. And have 2A plus N minus 1D. So, in actual fact, either of these two formulas are perfectly fine. And you're given both of them. Okay? So, let's say 
Um, I wanted to add all of these numbers up, all the way up to, um, let's say, 201. Well, first of all, I'm going to need to know how many terms I actually have, because I need n. I've already know a, and I know l, but I don't know n. I don't know how many terms I have in total. So let's get rid of this. Now from before, uh, we, I did a video on how to find the number of terms in a sequence, and that used a plus n minus 1d. So if I set 201 to be the last term, the first term is a uh, is 3, and d is 2, so n minus 1 times 2. Take 3 from both sides, so that's 198 is equal to 2 lots of n minus 1. Half of 198 is 99. And then add 1 to both sides. So I actually have 100 terms. Now, seeing as I have 100 terms, that's given me n. So I can now say the sum of the first 100 terms is one half times by a hundred times by the first term three plus the last term two hundred and one plug those into my calculator so one half of a hundred times three plus two hundred and one is ten thousand two hundred and what you probably want to check is that if I plug a, D and N into this formula, then I should get exactly the same thing. Okay, so that is where these formulas come from, and that is how they can be used to sum a series.